mentioned some of the challenges that the community will have. One of those that have been brought to light is transportation. Um, at this point, we have Amazon. Yep. We're about to get Micron. And I'm sure there'll be others that will want to be near those operations. Um, how do we get there from here? How do we get to the suburban jobs from our urban locations? And in fact, some of these locations um, have been pointed out nationally as being um, areas of extreme concentrated poverty. Absolutely. Uh, listen, I, I think if um, if we haven't solved that problem in the short order, then I think um, then I think we failed as a community. And, and I'll just say. Um, we have no intent on failing. This is a place that we've had a lot of discussions already with Micron about. Uh, we're going to have public transportation access on site. That uh, we're going to work with Centro, the Regional Transportation Authority, to make sure that uh, that the buses that are heading out there are uh, timed to meet the shift schedule changes that are happening at the site. Very similar to what we did with Amazon. Uh, but more importantly, we've also been talking to our partners at, at New York State, uh, certainly our partners at the county, about other transportation investments that are going to need to be there. My vision. Vision. Um, and my vision alone is that we have a dedicated bus rapid transit line that runs from the city of Syracuse out to the site. I think that is something that is going to be critical in order to help uh, people who live in our city uh, get access to that site. Uh, it's not something where we can ask people to, to you know, to change buses three times and uh, take a two-hour ride in order to get to a job. I think we, we owe it to our community to make it as easy as possible and reduce as many barriers as possible um, for people in our community, particularly those that have been traditionally disadvantaged, uh, to access the opportunities that are being created out in Clay.